Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like, please subscribe down below, and I appreciate all the support. And as you can see, we have a black Nike slide box in front of us today. I've always been a fan of these boxes. This is kind of a special release too. I was unaware this was going to be a women's only until a few days before it dropped. And uh, they released on Dover Street Market, New York's eShop. And there might be a wider release later. These are the Nike Dunk Low CDG Women's 11 and a half, as you can see there, with a men's 10. If we come across here, you can see we have a 260 retail price, which is extremely high for a regular Dunk. It's extremely high for a SB Dunk. It's extremely high for a Nike in general retail. Now, these did also release alongside a second pair, which was a print version, which had kind of the CDG print underneath the translucent upper here, which is an awkward kind of material we'll talk about. It's kind of um, like the Element 55, Element 87, Jordan, um, what was that? The Jordan Racer 89 had kind of this weird uh meshy translucent uh i don't want to say neoprene almost but i don't know it's kind of hard to say what this material is if anybody knows exactly what this is called let me know down in the comments i'm really lost on what the name is of this right now but anyway as you can see because it is a black black clear but the clear is overlaying in some spots it creates a tonal effect so it looks a little darker around the toe box a little darker here where the laces come through on this little paneling so i kind of like that touch i think these are pretty cool um, I think they're extremely overpriced. I, I guess that's kind of the blunt, straightforward way to say it. 260 retail is absurd. I don't know why these couldn't have been 160 retail. Um, somebody let me know if they have a reason for that. Besides CDG being a high-end fashion kind of brand. Um, yeah, I will actually leave a photo here of the all-over prints. I don't know if I mentioned that already. If I did, I'll just cut this out. And if we flip it around, you can see that tonal overlay I was talking about in the toe box with the layer of the clear material. And if we bring it up close, actually, you can see that kind of grid pattern that's across it. And you've got a little bit of touch of suede going across here. Touch of suede on the other side at the lower part of the laces. Going up on the tongue, you have a wax laced that is flat. The tongue itself has a um, nylon patch on it. Underneath that is suede lined. And the entire tongue itself, I'm sorry about that, is actually the same exact material as the upper. This part coming across where the ankle would be is also a suede. The black is actually overlaid on the upper. It is not underneath, just in case anybody was curious about that with the black swoosh. You have some black tonal panning, uh, paneling going across here. A little bit more of the clear lined over there. You have black and Nike right there, which is hard to see going across this leather heel patch. They're pretty basic in a way, but not because they're unique and kind of how they did the upper. You have an all black outsole on a dunk low. And in case you guys aren't familiar with CDG, they are a company that's been around for about, I think, 50 plus years. Um, they were originally started in 1969 in uh, Tokyo, Japan by uh, Rei Kawakubo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. If I am, great. If I'm not, please correct me. Uh, they established uh, Como de Garçon. If I'm not pronouncing that correctly, please, once again, correct me. Uh, they established it in 1973. Um, written in Japanese, I will show you how they translate it here, and it's actually a translation in French, which means like boys, and it was actually inspired by a French artist, Francois Hardy, and he had a song that said, Tous les garçons et les filles. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, I'll put it in text. Sorry, my French is bad, I am not a speaker of French. And uh, yeah, CDG basically designs their stuff in Aoyama, Japan. Um, which is a very upper-class district. It's, I think, one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in Tokyo. And uh, they're manufactured throughout Japan, France, Spine, uh, Spain, Turkey. So they're a big powerhouse, been around a long time. Um, they're a more high-end fashion company. I will leave a link down below to the CDG website so you can check out their clothing in case you've never heard of the brand or you just haven't been following or you're not really big into fashion. This might be something new for you. If you can afford them, you might really like them. Me personally, I don't really buy their clothes, so I can't say personally what I would recommend. And other than that, I will show you guys one more thing. These are the tags that come with it from Dover Street Market. I got these tags in the shoe, but they did not come attached to the shoe. But I wanted to bring them up in case you guys buy a shoe from a third party. You will have an idea of what you are supposed to get with it. 
So this is the model node uh, model code and the price como your own made in China. Flip that around and then here's the other tag that's supposed to come with it. And the barcode on the bottom there with the number. Just so you guys know, you can legit check your own pairs. I'm just saying. Other than that, let me know what you guys think of these down below. This is a unique dunk. Uh, we have seen the SBs, of course, come back with a huge bang. People are going nuts right now over them. SBs are skyrocketing. Pairs I have sitting in my collection that were selling for like $120 are now up to $300 plus. I mean, it's getting crazy to what dunks are doing, but they're back. The dunks fit bigger. SBs, I go true to size. Dunks for men, I go down half size. But once again, I'm not doing a size recommendation right now because I don't know how to size these for men because they are a women's release. So for a man's foot, because we are built different, you might want to stay true to size. They might fit okay. So, you know, it's, it's kind of hard for me to do that. And that's why I don't want to steer anybody wrong. So I'm not doing a size recommendation for these sneakers. And you do not get an extra pair of laces for the $260 price tag, which is unfortunate. And you have CDG, Come de Garçon, going across the insole, uh, black insole, white writing. Nike swoosh on there and that's really about it and I didn't want to keep rambling on I just wanted to give you guys a little information about CDG in case you weren't familiar with the brand I actually had to look some of this up myself I just wanted to make sure I brought enough information for you guys let me know what you guys think of the Nike Dunk Low CDG collaboration that recently dropped do you like this pair better do you like the print underneath better so that would be the second pair that released alongside these uh, what do you think of that ridiculous $260 price tag and that they could have done 160 or even 180 and it would have been absolutely fair let me know in the comment what you guys think of these. I appreciate the support. I'll get all the conversation back to everybody. I'll try to answer everybody that replies to me and that leaves a comment, of course. And um, yeah, I thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this review today and I hope you stick around. I got another one coming and I hope you guys have a great day. All right, bye.